all right so what up uh you guys were asking for me to do youtube videos now for like a year and a half yeah like a year a year and a half and yes i know my eyebrows are kind of like boop. um i did just do them i'll do a whole like another video on those like another time um but we're gonna do get ready with me because i have to go to work to leave to go to work in like two hours so figured i could do it now <laughs> okay so first off i'm gonna use my natural radiance primer and i actually got a little like sample of it <laughs> at my work so i'm just gonna do a little bit of that and this one's really good like it feels kind of like lotion-y because i've used ones that feel more of like a silicone base and they don't seem to really do the trick my makeup still likes to go everywhere and then I don't know if you could see but I have like a lot of red on my face and um it's the redness on my nose seems to like still be noticeable all the time if my manager saw me doing this with my fingers right now they'd freaking end me <laughs> all right and I just got a new foundation too because it's like the, it's the same one I always use but they came out just has music playing so i'm gonna um it's the pro longwear waterproof foundation it's really freaking full coverage but the nc15 was just a little too light like it, or not too light what it was just the nc15 was just a little bit too dark because i am super pale so i'm when i apply this i just do it directly on my face i do like a little like backwards three oh there's my eyebrow stuck do like a dot dot and like a little like boop, and then i'm gonna go and then i'm gonna grab my beauty blender i have like three of them on my floor right now it's fine Ooh, yes it's perfect nc13 ladies and gentlemen and then before i do like my nose put that up and I take out my piercings because I don't want to get any foundation on these bad boys. It's gonna be so weird doing my makeup in the camera. All right, so as you can see, foundation is on. And then I'm using my ColourPop concealer because this one's like really light and I do mix it with my Max Studio Fix concealer. This one is in Fair 08. Mix it with my Studio Fix NC Fix because it just is like the perfect shade. And yes, my beauty blender's dirty. Don't come for me. I got really lazy. Okay, Let me put a little bit right there. And with the leftover on my beauty blender, I actually just go. Right away. Okay. So now, before everything starts to crease, I use. Where is it? I have like. I had a makeup appointment, like a freelance appointment, and I just bought my whole bag, you know? So, first, I'm gonna take a brush with. I'm taking my collab powder that I got from my other job, and it's pretty bomb, especially if you have like, like yellowish tone. So, I use this on my nose so you can see my nose holes. And I do it on my nose first so I can put my piercings back in. And the one thing I hate about makeup is that I have insane smile lines and forehead lines. And ooh, and ooh. And it creases like no one's business. So I'm going to take a little bit of that on my brush down. Set my forehead. And this one is a little bit tinted. It's like 13 bucks at Sally's, which so it is a little bit more pricey than like the Airspun. But I definitely have more of like an, a yellow tone to my skin. Like not my face, but like my neck, my body. Everything else is more yellow toned.
My eyebrows look so good. Oh. Don't like that. I went ahead and did that side with the airspun, but I just same brush. I just do kind of like where my contour would be, my blush, my highlighter, everything else. And all the way down to my neck because I did put a little bit of foundation down there. And I do look really pale right now, but it's because, like I said, I am really pale. It's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. And to do my eyes, I use the MAC Prep and Prime. It's the 24 hour extend eye base. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to be using the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill. It's the JH33 brush. It's a little bit dirty, but it's okay. I'm gonna be using also the Yes Please palette with, I don't know, it's that really white one. I'm gonna be using that really light pink and just kind of using that right here. So then I'm gonna be taking the 35O palette. As you can see, I use that shade and that shade quite frequently. Using both of them again and putting that right in my crease again with the same brush. And with also the same brush, um, I'm going to be taking like the green-ish brown color and I'll put that like directly into my crease to darken it a little bit. I want to have that like green kind of olive tone color in there because it's going to be kind of like a greenish brown color. Now as I was doing this, you can see that hair. I literally just did my eyebrows yesterday. Like, oh, is that another one? I'm going to cry. Hold on. Okay, so now that I fixed my brow situation, I'm going to use the NYX Beauty School Dropout Palette. Uh, I'm going to use that color and mix it in with that green. With, again, the same brush. And then I'm actually going to take like this green and that like, it's not even like olive, I don't even know how to describe it. It's kind of like a um, tan and again, darken up. And watch, by the end of this video, my forehead wrinkles are going to be shite bit of greens a little bit of the taupe oh don't like that lighting and okay we're getting rid of that middle part thank you but now i'm going to go back in with the morphe one and using like that gray color mixed with which one which one do i use a little bit of that brown it's like a brownie gray color but just a little bit like literally i'm just literally this is and just Right where we're about to cut it, you're gonna just cut a just a little bit. All right, so now I'm using a whole nother concealer. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand. Then I cut my crease, and I'm gonna do like a halo eye. But I'm gonna do one eye at a time so that my eyes don't like crease or anything like that. So. Let me cut it. Also, I forgot to say that I used the Urban Decay, like, brush. I almost said pencil. That just literally came with my Naked 2 palette. So, I'm going to go back to the first couple of shades that we used with a really small brush. And this one I got from Ulta. It doesn't even have, like, a number or anything on it. It's just, like, a brush. And I'm going to use those two right, right there. Yep. I'm gonna put that on either side and you wanna make it in like a triangle. And you wanna blend it, but you don't wanna do it like too much because you are putting like white there. And then I'm just gonna keep going through the line of the other eyeshadows I used, like the greens and stuff like that and kinda just build my way out. These two right there, kinda mixing them together. I'm just gonna put it right on the crease and I'm actually gonna do it off camera because the lighting I'm getting <laughs> too close so I'm actually gonna do the other eye now completely off camera and I'll be right back um, but so I'm gonna start with um, 
my Too Faced, and honestly, um, it doesn't even have anything on it. It's almost smells like chocolate because um, <laughs> I was with Caitlin one night, and um, I'm just gonna use like a fluffy angled. And in her car, this was in the back, and she was like, "Hey, is this yours?" And I was like, "Nope." And she's like, "Oh, do you want it?" I was like, "Sure." So I just took it, and I really like it. I don't even know if they still sell it, but whatever. And I'm just gonna do it like, it doesn't have to be exact, but you want it to be like right where you're gonna contour, because it's gonna be kind of like a base for your official contour. I do this one on my forehead, because I got a big forehead. Gotta bring her down a notch. Because, yeah, my forehead um, is pretty big. And then I'm gonna take the Max Studio Fix Sculpt and Shape Contour Palette. And I'm using the dark one. Um, and then with like a really, really small angled brush, and I'm using the top one. Sometimes I mix it with that, but usually I just do that one. And I just do it very lightly at the very bottom. Bring it up. Can you not do that? Slightly bring it up. <laughs> And then since this brush has like a little like round one, I'm gonna use the orange shade. Just on top as like a blush. Sometimes I do use like pink shades, but for the most part, like the more coral shades look really good on me. I'm gonna do a little bit on my nose. Now that's done. So now I'm using like my all time favorite eyeliner. It is the MAC Brush Black Brush Stroke Liner. I'm just gonna line the top of my eyes and I will be right back. And I don't know if you can see, but I do kind of taper it on the outside because the way my eyes are shaped, it kind of just opens them a little bit. So I'm going to do that. Right. And if any of you guys know me at all, I used to be, I used to hate pen eyeliners. I used to hate them so much. And I was using the Hard Candy Walk the Line eyeliner and it was like, mine's so dried out. I can't even open it. But it was bomb, like with a lot of eyeliners, like, let's use my MAC one real quick. The post itself is really really short and that one was really long and the brushes were super like strong like they wouldn't really like bend easily like just so it was just so easy to make a cat eye and uh they discontinued it so i had to find a new one and i found it and i absolutely love it but now i'm going to be using the femme couture monster lash xxl mascara in blackest black and it's do a, you don't have to do a lot of mascara, you just want enough to where the powder on your eyelashes just are non-existent. And this mascara, um, I got it for $5, minus, like, I didn't even get my employee discount because I didn't really care because it was only $5. And I needed something because I was running late to work and I needed to put on my eyelashes but so I just brought them to work so I can clock in and then put them on real quick. And I realized when I got there that I forgot mascara. Um, so go in and buy it. It's five dollars at Sally's. All right. And so before I curl or before I do any of my eyelashes, I like to curl them. Good shout out to my girl Betty for that trick. What a goddess. We love her. And I just curl them a little bit. This is literally. She showed me this trick like about a month and a half ago, and it's literally made the biggest difference with like any of the eyelashes that I've ever worn. So I'm using these ones and they're from Wish and I don't remember, I think they're like D4114, something like that. Something like that, but they're super bomb and I'm gonna be using my black duo glue. And I've only worn these now like once cause I just got like the new 
new ones. Um, I'm gonna let these dry for a minute. Right now, I'm going to apply these. I'm gonna do one on camera, one off camera. But if you have a chance to get these, these are like two freaking dollars. It does take like three weeks to come in, but in my opinion, it's kind of worth it. Yeah, but I've seen eyelashes like these go for literally like some people pay like ten dollars, some people pay like twelve, fifteen, like just go on wish, just go on wish. So I'm gonna do the other eye and I'll be right back. So I'm gonna take the beauty school dropout palette one more time with a probably the same yeah, same brush. I'm gonna be mixing the dark. Love that. Okay, I'm gonna be taking that one and that one again. Boom. Boom. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. So then, okay, I'm going to set my face with my setting spray. And I use the collab one. I'm gonna just do one side first. And then I'm gonna mix. Gosh dang it, where is it? All right, so I found my highlighter. I'm gonna be using the Lancome Dual Finish Highlighter in Shimmering Buff. It's like the lightest shade that they have. This is like one of my all-time favorite highlighters, other than um, Show Bold from MAC. And then on top of that, I'm going to add a little bit of the gold from the Hyper Real Glow. And this one, I believe, is the Rose Gold one. So I'm going to do a little bit of a darker one just back here. Alright, and then I'm going to do the same on the other side. And now on this one, you guys can kind of see how shiny the Lancome one is because that stuff is freaking up bomb. Add a little bit of the hyper reel and then I'm just going to take whatever is left on my brush and just okay so one of my last steps is doing the mascara on the lower lashes so I'm gonna do that real quick alrighty so there's that eye look out of the way be fine oh. Oh, please. all right so then last step is lips and I'm gonna take I just use this to kind of wipe off my concealer and I'm gonna just make sure any like spit or anything from just like the inner like the inside of the lip is gone. I'm gonna line my lips with MAC Lip Liner in Strip Down. Such a pretty color, so I'll be right back. All right, and now I'm gonna be using the MAC Lipstick in Leave Me Breathless, which is a really like, really, really light nude. And since I'm so pale, it just, it's perfect, it's perfect. All right, so there is my look. And I'm ready for work. So the last step, I do my hair, which I'm not gonna do like a full on like hair vid right now. But I use, my dad just got home, I use the Ion Volume Boost Spray, and my hair already has like a little bit of volume because I did a little bit earlier, but I'm going to lift and kind of just massage it in. Because I have pretty thin hair, so this just adds a little, a little extra some something. So, yeah, and there it is. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, shout out to Saul. He's the one that has been telling me to do this since we started 
being friends and that was again almost two years ago yeah, oh my god almost two years ago okay and um shout out to my mom for getting me a new phone so i can actually take these videos because my old phone uh didn't have any storage i had the seven <laughs> um yeah so i will be back probably next week so have a good one